Hi everyone and welcome to this video on iPad 9 generation tips and trick and whether you are a new iPad user or just looking to get more out of your device this video is just for you. We will cover everything from basic gesture to hidden features that can help you be more productive and have more fun with your iPad. Let's start with the basics. We'll start with the gestures first. The first thing you can try out with your iPad is so if you are in any app, so you just need to swipe up uh, from bottom to go home. This is a gesture you can try out to go to home. And the second gesture you can try on uh, iPad is swipe down from the top, um, top right corner to open control center. And third gesture you can try out is uh, you just need to uh, swipe down from the top center to open notification center so you can uh, you can see all the no all all notification from uh, swiping from the top center and the fourth one is uh, the one that i am sure you don't know about it and which is you just need to uh, swipe left or right with your forefinger to uh, switch between apps And the last gesture you can try out is to pinch, pinch to zoom in and zoom out. Now let's talk about the multitasking on iPad. So if you want to do multitasking, you can do one thing here. If you have open multiple application and if you want to use two application at once, so how can you use that? So if you can see here over the top of uh, app three dot, the step on it, you will find three, uh, three options here, full screen, screen view, slide over. If you want to use two apps side by side, you can use split view and now you can choose application that you want to use with browser. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use YouTube side by side with this application. Fine. So this is a trick you can try out and other thing you can do with this multitasking feature is slide over. So if you want to use this application, you can use it as a slide over. Uh, on another app so let's open any app here let's open this youtube this will app this app will be used as a slide over or you can open it whenever you want or if you have any uh, uh, apple pencil or uh, alternative pencil you can use it pencil use uh, the pencil to take a note so you can use inbuilt app of note on uh, ipad to make to take a notes and mark up document with uh, your pencil like this is uh, what we got in this. I just need to turn on and this panel will be open. Now I can take uh, any note here. I am taking notes. So you can minim or you can reduce the width of the pen and uh, you can mark up document as well. You can see it's very smooth and you can take note on iPad like you are doing on notebook. So this is very amazing to use this feature and you can also draw and create art with your apple pencil or alternative pencil so I, right now i'm using king one pencil which is alternative option for the ipad now let's talk about the hidden feature guys so if you want to take a screenshot on ipad you can do just you just need to slide swipe up from the uh, bottom right corner you just need to do that and you can mark up as well your sc uh, screenshot fine if you want to record your screen you can do also that you just need to uh, swipe 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 up from the bottom or, or or the swipe up from the top right corner and you will find the control center here and you just need to tap on the circle icon and your recording will be start or you can stop it from here anytime and suppose if you have uh, any document open in the browser you can uh, mark up anytime so you just need to tap on this this is a share button and you can scroll down and just uh, need to tap on markup and now you can annotate uh, you can write anything or annotate anything uh, anything you want on ipad like it, it, it is an image so I, I i can annotate document as well so if i let it so let's do that you can see and uh, the last option you can try out is different. so you just need to tap on any text editor and you can start typing by using the mic option just tap on on the 
mic icon or on the keyboard to dictate your dictate your typing instead of dictate text uh, instead of typing so you can see that it started typing so yeah this is amazing feature you don't have to use your fingers to type you can use your voice so yeah hope you like it guys these are the things you can try out on ipad thanks for watching bye bye